Hi, it's Jessica Sporn. I'm going to show you how I made this art journal page. I have a book where I brayer off um, color paint when I'm working with my jelly plate. And so I'm just taking one of these pages where I, um, obviously I was using orange and red paints on my jelly plate. And the first thing I'm doing is just journaling. I have um, some emotions I want to get out on paper and as you can see I'm, I'm going around in a circle um, just so that I have handwriting on the page. My feelings are there but I don't want anyone to read them. Uh, so I also have this print I had made using my hand stencil from Stencil Girl and a silhouette I created from a magazine and I cut a square from it I also punched out some circles and triangles from leftover uh, pieces of jelly prints. I keep old catalogs around um, for surfaces for glue. It's great because you just fold it up and put it to the side when you're done gluing and the glue doesn't get on your project. So now you can see I'm just arranging the circles, kind of going back and forth, not exactly sure what I want to do, but then I settle on a design and I glue them down. I also cut these uh, turquoise ones in half, not quite in half. Um, you'll notice actually that the square is not centered on the left-hand side of the page and that the circles that I cut are not exactly in half. I think it's a little more interesting when things are slightly off. So using glazing medium and black paint here to uh, add some shadows to these circles and it's a, a process where I put on paint and then I wipe it off until I get the look that I want. Then I'm going to do the same thing with the triangles. Um, so each process kind of informs the next step and it's not as though I really have a big plan about this, um, but then as I go along, the, I, the circles needed to pop out, so I put the black paint around them, and now I feel like there needs to be a little bit more black along the center as well, plus I don't like the look of the harsh line of the blue square. So I'm using my circles and squares stencil to go around the outline and just fade in, fade the uh, square into the overall page. This is a Posca oil paint pen, which I'm using to put some dots around the circles. And then I feel like the orange is too light. So I'm using glazing medium and orange fluid acrylic paint, mixing it together with my fingers and just rubbing it into the paper. That makes me feel like there needs to be a little bit more black around the triangle, so I do that as well. Now I feel like her head um, is just too blank. I think about journaling inside of there, but then I take out this new stencil. This is what we call a blue stencil, which is the stencil I get after I've designed it. Stencil Girl sends it to me to make sure it works the way we planned and then it will be produced in the mylar that you're accustomed to. So I decide I'm going to use that in the inside of her head and it kind of gives it a real tribal, that tribal look that I love so much. And I'm taking my black paint and further uh, going around the sides of the blue square and using a baby wipe to soften it as well. Feeling like there needs to be just something else on the bottom here, so I had a circle that was unused. I cut it in half and I'm uh, glazing it with some yellow ochre paint and glazing medium and I think it'll look good on the bottom here but I'm not a hundred percent sure so I don't glue it down yet. Taking my white Posca pen to go over those dots because they got a bit muted and then taking my yellow glazing concoction and going around the whole inside the whole head and I feel like this just um, integrates the face into the rest of the page. I'm committing now to those half circles gluing them down with some matte medium so I sort of alternate with adhesives between matte medium, yes paste, 
uh, and Pam Carricker's uh, mixed media adhesive. So I tend to have them all out and use them as um, I feel would be best. Putting some spirals into these circles, this whole page is about uh, kind of the jumble of thoughts that are in my mind, and so the spirals give me that whirling feeling, and then I'm just muting them a bit with some paint and glazing medium. So I'm just about done, but I'm thinking about journaling some more, and as a prelude to that, I start doodling a little bit. This leads me to pull out um, a package of Donna Downey's stamps and some tissue paper to sort of audition the sentiments. Um, actually, this first stamp is a Diane Weevely stamp, which I end up not using. Uh, I like stamping on tissue paper and scrap paper bef rather than write on my page because then I can cut it out and um, move it around and decide exactly where I want to place it. Plus, I'm not that great of a stamper, and doing it this way allows me to get a cleaner image. Rather than cut the tissue paper with scissors, I like to paint a very thin line of water and then use my fingers to tear it because it gives me a much more organic edge. So putting the matte medium directly onto the page and then laying my sentiment on there, and when it dries, it will look as though I stamped it, stamped it directly onto the page. Then for this other sentiment, I decide I actually want it to be on the torn piece of paper so I do it that way, and this has led me to the words I want to journal, and I just write them on the bottom using some ink to go around the edges of the page, and I'm done. I hope this video gave you some ideas about different ways of incorporating journaling and stenciling in your art journal. So leave me a comment, let me know, and uh, share the video. I would appreciate it. Thanks and bye.